From the popular cruise stop of Kusadasi, there are many companies that offer day trips to Ephesus. However, I found them to be quite overpriced. For a single person as part of a group, the average price is about $50. If you go by yourself taking public transportation, not only will you save a lot of money, but you won't be time restricted either. In fact, the bus from Kusadasi to Ephesus is only 9 Turkish lira, a little over a dollar. The ride takes a half hour and drops you off at the lower entrance. Here, I recommend getting a taxi to the upper entrance for 30 lira, as walking down the ruin is much more relaxing. The tickets to Ephesus are 100 Turkish lira, which is about $13. Once inside, you are free to explore at your own pace. So I am at Ephesus, the ancient city of Greece. It is built next to the modern city of Solchak. And I'm at the entrance. I do recommend taking the upper entrance and your walk will go down the hill. It's much easier than start from, the, uh, from down below. Um, before coming in, I do recommend also buying a guide like this, for example. Here you will find pictures of how the sites are right now and how they were before uh, they got destroyed. Um, also really, uh, really a lot of information here you will find. This is the government Agora. Agora from ancient Greek means market. So this is the place where they were selling and buying stuff. Also probably here were um, rooms for the government, uh, government people. <laughs> yeah, um, all, this, all this area was covered and the columns were really, uh, were really tall. Um, as you see, it's quite, quite big area and the space is long. Throughout the complex, there are placards which give information about some of the ruins. I suggest that you don't rush as you walk through Ephesus, as you might miss some amazing buildings. Even walking down the street with tall columns at either side is awe-inspiring. Behind me is Trajan Fountain. Trajan actually was one of the greatest Roman emperors. All the statues that were preserved uh, from this fountain were taken to a thesis museum that is located in the city in Solchak. Perhaps the most photogenic building in Ephesus is the library. This structure is one of the most preserved and repaired. And the facade is quite true to what it was over 2000 years ago. Unfortunately, the facade is all that is left of this once great structure. The last thing you'll see as you go through Ephesus will be the Great Theater. Currently they are restoring it, but you can still go inside. This is similar to the small theater you see at the upper entrance, but about 10 times larger.